Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Shawarma, a Middle Eastern wrap made with chicken, lamb or beef, with veggies, pickles and a sauce. Shawarma is a Middle Eastern dish that consists of grilled meat, usually lamb, chicken, or beef, that is marinated in a blend of spices and then shaved off a rotating spit. The meat is typically served in a pita bread with various vegetables such as lettuce, tomatoes, and onions, as well as sauces like tahini, hummus, or garlic sauce. Shawarma is popular in many countries around the world and can be found in Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, and even some Asian and European restaurants. It is often served as street food and is a favorite among people who are looking for a quick and tasty meal. In recent years, vegetarian and vegan versions of shawarma have become popular, using ingredients such as falafel, tofu, or seitan in place of the meat. Falafel, a deep-fried vegetarian patty made from chickpeas, herbs, and spices, usually served in a pita bread. Falafel is a Middle Eastern dish made from ground chickpeas or fava beans, mixed with herbs and spices, formed into small balls or patties, and then deep-fried or baked. It is a popular vegetarian and vegan food, and it is often served in a pita bread with vegetables such as lettuce, tomatoes, and onions, as well as sauces like tahini or hummus. Falafel is a staple food in many Middle Eastern and Mediterranean countries and has become popular in many other parts of the world as well. It is known for its delicious, savory flavor and crispy texture, and it is a great source of protein and fiber. While traditionally made with chickpeas or fava beans, other ingredients like lentils, green peas, and sweet potatoes can also be used to make falafel. In addition to being served in a pita bread, falafel can also be eaten as a snack or added to salads, bowls, and wraps. Makbuz, a spiced rice dish with meat or fish, served with salad or pickles. Makbuz, also known as kabsa or majbuz, is a traditional rice dish that is popular in many Middle Eastern and South Asian countries, particularly in Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. The dish is made with long grain rice that is cooked with a blend of spices such as cumin, coriander, turmeric, and cinnamon, as well as vegetables like onions, tomatoes, and carrots. Makbuz can be made with a variety of meats such as chicken, lamb, or beef, which are first marinated in spices and then cooked with the rice. The dish is usually garnished with fried onions, raisins, and chopped nuts, and served with a side of yogurt or a fresh salad. The spices used in makbuz give it a distinct and flavorful taste, and the dish is often considered to be a comfort food. It is a popular dish for special occasions such as weddings, and it is also commonly served during Ramadan and other religious festivals. Samosas, deep-fried pastries filled with spiced meat or vegetables. Samosas are a popular snack and appetizer in many parts of the world, particularly in South Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. They are a type of pastry that is usually filled with spiced vegetables, meat, or a combination of both. The filling can vary depending on the region and personal preference, but common ingredients include potatoes, peas, onions, chicken, lamb, or beef. Samosas are typically triangular in shape and are made by wrapping a thin pastry dough around the filling and then frying or baking until golden brown and crispy. They are often served with chutney or other dipping sauces. Samosas have a long history and are believed to have originated in the Middle East before spreading to other parts of the world. They are now a popular snack food in many countries and are enjoyed by people of all ages and backgrounds. Balalit, a sweet vermicelli dish flavored with rose water and cardamom, usually served with an omelet. Balalit is a traditional Emirati breakfast dish made with vermicelli noodles, eggs, sugar, and cardamom. 
The dish is typically served during Ramadan as it provides a good source of energy to sustain people throughout the day of fasting. To make balalit, vermicelli noodles are first cooked in boiling water until they are tender and then drained. The noodles are then mixed with a mixture of beaten eggs, sugar, and cardamom and cooked in a skillet until the eggs are set. Balalit is typically served hot, garnished with sliced almonds or pistachios and a sprinkling of cinnamon. Some variations of the dish also include rose water or saffron for added flavor. Balalit is a delicious and nutritious breakfast dish that is easy to prepare and perfect for anyone looking to try something new. Karak tea, a strong tea made with spices like cardamom, cinnamon, and ginger mixed with condensed milk. Karak tea, also known as karak chai or masala chai, is a popular beverage in the Middle East and South Asia. It is made by boiling black tea with milk, sugar, and a variety of spices such as cardamom, ginger, and cinnamon. The tea leaves are usually brewed in water for several minutes and then mixed with milk and sugar to taste. The spices are then added and the mixture is brought to a boil and then simmered for a few minutes to allow the flavors to melt together. Karak tea is typically served hot and is often enjoyed as a morning or afternoon pick-me-up or as a social drink to share with friends and family. It is also a popular beverage during Ramadan as it helps to hydrate the body after a day of fasting. Karak tea is not only delicious, but it also has several health benefits. The tea leaves contain antioxidants, which can help to boost the immune system and reduce inflammation in the body. The spices in karak tea also have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties and can aid digestion and improve circulation. Grilled kebabs, various types of meat kebabs, marinated and grilled to perfection. Grilled kebabs are a popular dish in Middle Eastern, South Asian, and Mediterranean cuisine and typically consist of marinated pieces of meat or vegetables that are skewered and grilled over an open flame or on a grill. The meat used in grilled kebabs can vary depending on the region and personal preferences, but popular choices include beef, lamb, chicken, and seafood. The meat is typically cut into bite-sized pieces and marinated in a flavorful mixture of spices, herbs, oil, and acid, such as lemon juice or vinegar. This helps to tenderize the meat and infuse it with flavor. Vegetables such as onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, and zucchini are also commonly used in grilled kebabs. These are usually cut into similar sized pieces and marinated in the same mixture as the meat to ensure even cooking and flavor distribution. Once the meat and vegetables are marinated, they are skewered onto metal or wooden sticks and grilled over high heat until they are charred on the outside and cooked through on the inside. Grilled kebabs are typically served with a variety of accompaniments, such as pita bread, rice, salad, or sauces like tzatziki, hummus, or harissa. Grilled kebabs are not only delicious but also a good source of protein and nutrients, making them a healthy and satisfying meal option.